we briefly touched upon nerve injuries. I'll just go back to other nerve injuries you can get. Median nerve injury. Okay. So the median nerve, as the name says, is like middle. That's what we call median. Imagine a median nerve is injured there. Do you want to do my standing up again? <laughs> okay, median nerve is injured there. What do you think the patient's clinical presentation will be? That's median nerve. But when when do you think when when do you think you, uh, uh, somebody can get a median nerve injury at this level? What's the most common thing? Uh, fracture. Supracondylar fracture, commonly seen in children, but of course you can get in adults. But if you have a supracondylar fracture, the nerve that is injured is median nerve. Of course, you can get the radial nerve, ulnar nerve, in theory, but for the purpose of your exam, they will ask you median nerve, supracondylar fracture. Right. So let's say this is a four year old child. He doesn't look four, but he's four. Supracondylar fracture. What do you think his hand will be? Uh, what are things he won't be able to do? Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. A wrist drop is the other side, isn't it? Radial. Mm. We're talking about median. Right. So, unable to extend the wrist. Flex, you mean? Flex the wrist. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's, um, I, I think I'm just working you towards a clinical scenario. I, I, they won't give you that. What is the thing they, they will give you? What is the patient unable to do if it is a child? What is a classical thing a child will be lying in? If you're seeing a child in, in, in A&E, the grasp. Okay, grasp is lost. It's called the pointing index. The index finger won't flex. Do this for me, please. So if you see a four-year-old child lying in a &E, this is a classical median nerve injury. That's called the pointing index sign. Okay? Now, in a child, you can't ask them to make a fist. So that's why it is in that position. But in an adult, uh, if they are lying this, you ask them to make a fist, Again, they won't be able to make a fist, but the hand will try to flex this way. That's called the hand of benediction. Okay, so this is again a median nerve injury. So if you have a median nerve injury at that level, or even slightly lower down, you, you will still get these pointing index or the hand of benediction. Okay, now let me, uh, let's go through the, uh, the anatomy of that. Why do you get this? So uh, going back to your ulnar nerve, I said these two are supplied by ulnar nerve and these two are by median, okay? So that's why when you have a median nerve injury, these two don't flex. But classically, the middle finger can occasionally be supplied by, by, uh, by the ulna from there or the tendon is just pulling it down. But this finger will never flex. So this is a classical one, but you, you can get this as well. FPL, even this won't flex because FPL is also by the median nerve. If you come to the carpal tunnel and you have an injury of the median nerve at this level, then you won't get pointing index. You won't get hand of benediction. What is, what, what, what is lost? Thenar, I mean, wasting of thenar, but what is the patient unable to do? Abduction of thumb. So lift your thumb towards the ceiling, please. Yeah, <coughs> keep it up. Yeah, so that is lost in a median nerve injury, well, clearly, if it happens there, it will definitely be lost. But if, you, if the patient has got a full fist, but unable to just abduct uh, the thumb, then is the median nerve below, below, lower than the carpal tunnel. Okay, so these are the levels of median nerve injury they will ask you. Ulnar nerve injury. Ulnar nerve injury, they'll ask you whether it can be above, before the epicondyle or after. If you, if you have an ulnar nerve injury at this level, um, what will you get? What, what will the patient sign? Acutely and chronically. Uh, hmm? We get a drop. No, you won't. You, you will, in, 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 in a chronic situation, you get uh, uh, clawing of the hands. Okay? In ac acutely, what is the patient unable to do? These two fingers, isn't it? So if the patient makes a fist, this won't flex, these two. But with the long-standing ulnar nerve injury, you will get wasting of the hypothenar remnants, claw hand. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation.
Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.